Hi, my name is Lavinia. This is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy. Today, in this second of two-part video, I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of variants of Risk. If you want to learn how to play the classic world domination, have a look at the first part of this video. What I enjoy about playing the variants of Risk is it allows for a broader range of options. Some of them are a lot of fun and there is room to find the game that fits your preference, but also the amount of time you want to spend on them because some of them are not as long as a classic world domination game. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing and clicking the like button. It helps a lot. In Risk, you play a general in charge of an army intent on taking over the world. The stronger your army and the more territories you acquire, the harder it is for other players to defeat you. There are many variants with a wide range of winning objectives, which allow you to pick the one you prefer. Let me start with one that we play in my house, where it changes the value of the cards that you trade. It's based on the cards themselves, not in the order that you trade them. So you get four armies for trading three infantries, six armies for three cavalries, eight for three artillery cards, or 10 for one card of each type. The wild cards can replace any card of your choice. This is more fair, especially when you're using cards from a defeated player. Another option as well is the way you fortify at the end of your turn. Here you can move your reinforcements any number of territories from only one to another one. For this, you need to control all the territories in between. Let me show you how to play world domination with only two players. During setup, remove the two wild cards and distribute all the risk cards in three piles. Each player picks one, and the third is for the neutral player. All players occupy their 14 territories with one army. Then players take turns placing the remaining 21 armies, two infantry at a time, on either one or two territory they control, and also placing one neutral army the same way on their turn. Once all armies have been placed, return the two wild risk cards to the deck and shuffle it. Players can attack the neutral player at any time during their turn. The other player will roll to defend. The neutral player will never attack and will never receive reinforcements either. If during the game this neutral player is eliminated, the game goes on until one active player wins all 42 territories. There's another way to play a two-player game, and that involves four neutral players instead of one. It plays the same, except that the active players will get 36 units, and each neutral player will get 24. To set up, take the two wild cards and randomly give nine cards to each active player and six to each neutral player. After that, all players occupy the territories with one army. Then in clockwise order, active players each place three armies on their territories and one for each neutral player. Return the wild cards to the deck, shuffle and place them face down nearby. You can play this four neutral player variant like the one I just showed you where all neutral players are passive. However, it's a lot more fun when you can bribe the neutral players so that they can attack and reinforce. Setup is exactly the same as the previous four neutral player variant, but this time you also place one cannon for each of the neutral players on the side of the board between the two active players. The four players start neutral, but can move here to ally with the red or here to ally with the blue. To change their allegiance, active players at their turn can bribe neutral players with risk cards. For each card they spend, one neutral player moves one step. You can give two cards to one neutral player to move him two steps and change allegiance immediately. Each neutral player can hold a maximum of five cards, so there is a limit to the amount of influence you can buy. Also, neutral players cannot trade these cards for units. If you wish, in your turn, each of your allies can roll one die to gain reinforcements, like six here. Allies never count territories nor continents to receive units. Also, they never pick up risk cards when they gain territories. Now, during your turn, the active player can use their ally to make attacks. Whenever you or your ally gains a neutral territory, you roll one die. On one to four, this neutral player moves its allegiance one direction away from you. On a five or a six, their allegiance remains the same. When you reinforce at the beginning of your turn, you only count your territories, not your allies. If you eliminate a neutral player, you take all its territory cards. 
Now let me show you a faster version of world domination where the objective is to capture the other players' capitals or headquarters instead of all the territories. Set up your armies like for world domination, then secretly pick one of your territories. Find its matching risk card and keep it face down in front of you. Keep it separate as you may not use your headquarters card when you trade cards. Once all players have made their selection, they all reveal their headquarters location. Another fun variant is to keep the capital hidden until someone captures it. Then use all the rules of world domination with these few tweaks. If you ever lose your headquarter, you do not lose the game. Your opponent places your headquarter card face up in front of her and you keep playing. The first player to control two enemy headquarters in a three or four player game or three headquarters in a five or six player game and still control their own wins the game. Now, for a harder and longer version, you can keep your headquarters hidden. It's a lot of fun. For a change of pace, there is another variant where you play with secret missions. In our version of Risk, we have four levels of missions, Captain, Major, Colonel and General. Randomly give one of each to all players. In other versions, you have only one level of missions. You remove any color that is not playing and you distribute one card to each player. You keep the card hidden until the objective is met. The setup is the same as the World Domination for two players, where you remove the two Wild Risk cards and distribute the other Risk cards between all players. Players still place one army on each territory and then, in their turn, one army on the territory of their choice. The game then proceeds like in World Domination. Your starting armies and the gameplay are the same as in World Domination rules. In our version with the four mission cards, you can score one objective per turn in the exact moment the card says so. And once you've scored three objectives, you need to reveal your last one. In the version where you only have one objective, the player wins as soon as the objective is completed, even if another player completed it. There are a lot of other variants and combinations of variants, including team plays. Let me know in the comments if there is a variant you particularly enjoy. Now, my tips to win at the variants of Risk are play a few games of World Domination so you can familiarize yourself with the map, with the combat and everything, and then pick the variant you like or make up your own. The more dice the defender rolls, the greater the odds of winning, however, also of losing. Do not overextend yourself. Pick your battles carefully early on in the game. When defending a continent, try to set the borders outside the continent so that most of the battle takes place out of the continent and it's protected. If you hold Oceania and or South America, you can decide to wait it out, amass units and wait for the weakest player, attack them and get their cards. So this is how you play the variants of Risk. I've been playing this game since I was a kid and really the variants is what excites me about the game. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and clicking the like button. And if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is right here. We'll make more games easy soon. Bye now.